Hey, what's up guys? Just showed up to work. Today is uh, Andy's last day he's gonna be with us. Chance just ordered a pancake hood, originals. I'm sitting here comparing them. The difference between the small one and the, and the bigger one there, the original. <laughs> There's a lot different. Yeah, look. Put them up to that one. Around there. Yeah, that other one's bigger. See, now this is a small one. I thought it was going to be like the one you had. Yeah, I was showing it. Oh, no, I thought it was. I thought it. I looked at Andy, this year, this your last day you're going to be welding with me. This is it. This is it right this here. Grand finale. Are you, are you excited? No. You excited to go to the house? No. Not really? No. You like I've been there enough in the last 70 years, I guess. People. <laughs> <laughs> you like staying busy, huh? Yeah. I'm going to miss welding with you. I know that. We'll have to get on another one together. Ain't gonna be the last. Yeah. No. I don't care what anybody says. He'll outweld half the people I know. Hey. Hold that wind up. What did he say? Charge the battery? We ain't making it too well, boy. <laughs> yeah, don't get excited. When you this put that on there. Huh? This the only battery we have left? No, there's a big one in there. There is? I think it's dead, though. <laughs> no, I charged it. It's full charged. Them lights just quit working. Okay. We'll have to see. This is light. You don't, light don't work on this one. What did I say before we walked <laughs> over there? What did I say? He okay. said he charged it. Light don't work. Where's he going now? There's no <laughs> telling, boy. I'm telling you what, that's Start smooth out. Sure <laughs> Just head back to our weld. Who we got driving this truck here? What's your name? Oh, Chris Owens. It's our yeah. tying man, yeah. Chris Owens. From Alabama. Alabama. What part of Alabama are you from? Heflin, Alabama. I've never been there. I'm sure Andy's been there. I've been close. I've been to the Mopless. That's on the other side of the state. That's Alabama. That's, that's the hottest, yeah. hottest that's place I've ever been in my life. He wasn't filming, I'd tell you something about that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got a story about that place, too. Are well, you going to be able to make it up this hill? I doubt it. Brandon Williams, stay in it. Should have stayed with RPMs up, shouldn't Yep. Oh, you got her now. Oh, my God. Where'd they get that new found power? <laughs> Is that new tire? That new tire. <laughs> 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 one new tire I got. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want three more, you just need one. I can't handle three more. <laughs> what mail to spin them, would it? Uh -uh. I found them. I found Chris. Oh, Chris is already a YouTube star. Look at yeah. here, boys. Playing the guitar. <laughs> oh, he's playing his mouth. So you been, you've been playing the guitar for a oh, while? Oh, no. Just, just mostly on the road. Yeah. Yeah, That's awesome. What's that called, Chance? That's just uh. Just what'd, you, what'd you type in on? Chris, Chris plays guitar on Pipeline. <laughs> That's what I typed in. That's awesome. Pretty good song. I think you need to listen to it when you're drinking a little bit. Yeah, Chris sounds sound better. <laughs> yeah, definitely sounds better. ready to weld this two joint on that goes up underneath this hotline. Make this weld here and he's got a five joint section that he's lowering in on the other side here. Make these two welds on Andy's last day. All right, so uh, Devin is not helping me today. He'd been gone for a couple days. He had to go home for a wedding. So let's see who we've got helping me today. This is Joe, real good hand from uh, good old Wisconsin. What part of Wisconsin are you from? Barron, Wisconsin. You like it up there? Yeah. Not, you, not in the winters. No. Yeah. You'd rather be here now, oh, huh? Yeah. Over here where it's warmer. Yeah, it's not bad here. I can tolerate winters. Yeah, I hear you. Can't take 20 below anymore. How long How long have you been helping now? Since 2014. So, August about of three years or so? Yeah. Going on three years? Yep, going on fifth year. Yeah, maybe we'll get two welds today. Did it warmer in 
in there without the, without the rain, uh, wind hitting you? A little bit. It's a little bit warmer down here. It's still cold though. I feel, like it, I feel like it's colder up here on top of this hill. It is cold. God dang. Right here, I have to get behind this tractor. I got a question for you. Uh, all right, I had a comment on a video the other day. Somebody wanted me to ask you, do you remember where you were at when JFK got shot? Yes, I do. Where, where were you at when JFK I got shot? I was sitting in a place called the Cotton Bowl Lounge, having a cold beer, and they come over the TV there in Charleston, Missouri. Isn't that crazy how we, re how we remember where we were at when that stuff happened? Yeah. It's like I yeah. remember where I was at on, in uh, whenever 9-11 happened. You know, I was in my uh, history class in middle school. That's where I was at. So yeah. that's pretty neat. Yeah. What about 9-11? Uh, where were you at when 9-11? Sitting in my living room, drinking a cup of coffee when I seen that first. And you they showing it on TV. I seen both planes in. Yeah. And I thought it shocked me so much when the first one hit. I just sitting there and wife was still in bed. <laughs> and then I finally, when I seen that other one make a circle behind the building, Yeah. I said, that's something, something that's awful low for me there. Yeah. I ran in there and got her. She got back there just in time to see it hit that other one. Yeah. The other, the other plane hit. Well, that was crazy. I was, I was too young to realize what was really going on, but it was crazy. You yeah. Know? But yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Well, maybe we'll get both these welds today. What do you think? Probably. It looks like it. Yeah. They got, he got plans. Some, he got a lot of digging to do yeah, up there. I think it did two in there. It looks like to me. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready whenever he is. This here's uh, old Chris's straw. What's your name? Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson. Where are you from, Josh? Texas. What part of Texas? East Texas. Carthage, Texas. That's a big old state down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I guess we better get down here and do something, huh? He, he, he done pointed out at low spot. 65. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it's one heck of a uh, last day, isn't it? They yeah. cooked for us and everything. Tell us about them smiley faces on your gloves there. You got a smiley face on each one of your gloves, huh? This is for good days. No, this is the bad days. This is the good days. <laughs> isn't there a story behind it, though? I can't yeah. remember. I'm working a building trade job. And I, every day at dinner, I put my gloves down. I go down to eat, come back, my gloves gone. <laughs> I had my name right on top, handy. Broke top of both of them. Next day, same thing. It went about two days, three days. Nobody got my gloves. Come back the fourth, fifth day, there she was gone again. I said, well, I'll stop that shit. I'll go looking for her. Well, there's about four or five people on the job named Andy, I guess. I started putting them on there and never lost another pair. So, there you go. <laughs> they can't take those. No. <laughs> they know real quick it ain't theirs. You put that on all your tools and stuff too, don't you? Yeah, everything. You also got a uh, arm pad made, you said? Yeah, John Wayne McDaniels, a friend of mine. We were welding together down in Georgia. He kept looking at him and saying the same thing. Well, his wife was a leather, I don't know what you'd call it. Yeah, does leather work. She does leather work. She made me an arm pad. I mean, really nice. It had uh, right there on the top, she had a sad and happy face. Been on there for me. Well, that's neat. I'm gonna have to come by your trailer. Uh, I plan on coming by there anyway, before you leave, you know what I mean? Yeah. Show, show it to them. That's pretty neat. Well, you ready to hit the road now, Andy, huh? Yep. Got you. Much. <laughs> Tell me something, Andy. Does uh, does welding pipe get old? Never has in 50 years. Just still amazed at it every time I go around the pipe. Yeah, I know it. Like that last weld. It's always that last one too. The yeah, last weld was. I didn't want to leave with two patches <laughs> on it, but oh hell, <laughs> what? The... Every time. As the inside's clean, the bead's good, that's okay. That's right. Well, shoot. We're ready to go to the trailer now, ain't we? All right, it is the very next day. It is Sunday. Had a good last day. Well, I'm with Andy, that was a good time. A uh, good time. I'm gonna go down here now and help Andy get his skirting and everything together. Chance is supposed to come over, Andy's helper. I think he just pulled up. They're actually working on getting the skirting off right now, but I'm gonna go down there and see if Andy needs any help. And then, uh, send him on his way or whatever you know tell him tell him bye so anyway tell him it was a pleasure working with him but uh let's go down here and see andy <clears throat> i gotta get some coffee I haven't even i just had breakfast no coffee yet i'm gonna take my coffee with me What y'all out doing? That dude out there. Yeah. Been in there a minute, hadn't it? Yeah, I should have grazed it for it in there. Ah. Well, I got some mad sun waking up here. I'm uh -oh. banging on. They need to be up by now, I reckon. Uh, that's what I thought. Do you have a do you have uh camper hookups at your house? Or are you just 
park it. We'll finally put a plug in at our place, but uh, that's all we got. We don't have a sewage or nothing. Well, I need to. It makes it nice, you know, when you're trying to get ready and, you know, get it. Hey, looky here. <laughs> Boy, that is neat. That's very cool. That arm pad was talking about yesterday. His wife did all that pretty good with it. Looks just like the smiley faces that you draw, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she put them on there. Oh, man. What year is this trailer, did you say? 07 or 05. I can't remember which. I know. It seemed like they, they made them better. I love this underbelly setup. You can get to your underbelly from here, but your yeah. biggest opening's up there. Yeah, get here on the other side, both. Yeah. See, my underbelly, the front part don't connect all that. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, you lose, like, our propane bottles are in between it. Oh, okay. You lose all that, but... Yeah, propane's up here in the front. Yeah. All right, I guess you're uh, you're gonna head out in the morning. Yeah. Good working with you, Andy. Yeah, enjoy it. I mean, enjoy a pleasure. It. I mean, real pleasure. I think everybody needs to work with somebody with your experience, and uh, and uh, there's just so much to learn, man. Yeah. And, uh, Been done a long time. I'm, I'm super thankful. I'm thankful for everything you taught me just in uh, day to day working together, man. <laughs> it's been great. I hope we. I'm sure we will see each other. Yeah, I ain't quit. No. But, the wife last night, I'm going to try and be the oldest active member in 798. Yeah. How many years exactly now? 57 right now. 57 years. That's pretty neat, yeah. Anyway, any uh, any words of advice for anybody watching? No. Well, just work. Just work, <laughs> yeah. Just have a good work ethic. That's it. Yeah. Be friendly. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, be, be safe on your travels. I will. I will. But, Everybody be safe up here don't let them get you hurt yeah all right. in the mountains well there y'all have it andy hess super super i know i've said it a lot but i'm so thankful to have been able to weld across the pipe from andy he is full of knowledge full of information about the trade about being in the union super nice guy willing to help anybody just cannot cannot express how thankful i am to have had the opportunity to weld with andy and uh, guys like him are very very valuable They've been around, been in this industry for a long time. That's one of the things I want to share here on my channel and, and as I go throughout my pipeline career is, is the tradition, how things used to be on the pipeline, uh, just remembering where we come from and, and knowing how things are supposed to be done out here. And it takes guys like him to, to share that and then the guys that they share it with to share it also, just continually sharing it. And I'm, and I'm glad that I have this platform that I can share that knowledge and information also about just about you know the pipeline etiquette uh the pipeline traditions being in the union and uh anything and any kind of knowledge and and traditions that we need to pass on and and that's what i that's one of the main things that i want to share on this channel and i just love hearing the the stories from guys like andy they're full of stories you can learn from the stories and they're just fun to hear about and because I know you all enjoy hearing stories from guys like Andy, one day I hope to have a podcast. I will, let me just reword that, I will have a podcast one day to interview and get to know people like Andy, and along with several other people, not just the older generation, but I probably will have, have a, lot of, a lot of those because I think those stories are the ones that need to be told the most. Just to remember where we come from as, as human beings and living in today's fast-paced world, I think it's a good idea to slow down and remember where we come from, how it used to be. So yeah, hope to have a podcast, or will have a podcast one day. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, learn something every day, and we will see you next Friday. And don't